Hello, I have a demo of the muscle memory system that I've been putting together. Finally got it to a point where I'm pretty, pretty proud of how it works. The way muscle memory works or a way to think about it is it is a tool to log tool actions by an agent within an environment and then replay them later without needing to get an LLM in the loop. This saves on token costs. This also allows it to operate much more efficiently and exploits the fact that a lot of times, especially in environments like computer use, Agents are operating in environments that they've seen before, maybe seen 100,000 times. So it's a complete waste to have LLMs in the loop in the first place. LLMs should be the backup if you've never seen an environment before. And that's the whole point of this engine. What I'm gonna show you is a computer use like example or operating in an image environment. You can see that here, uh, the environment could be arbitrary. And we have an agent that is operating in that environment to click around. So it's gonna screenshot this, send it to an LLM, in this case, OpenAI's model, and then we're going to do click trajectories through it to click on the task is A, B, C, D, E, F, A, B, C, D, E, F, and you'll see that in action. Users bring their own agents. We simply instrument the tool calling. So I'm going to show you, actually, let me get this fired up. Our first pass through this, I'm going to show you running the task straight up in the agent, so completely unrelated to our engine, just to show you that we're not doing any sort of magic. We're not operating at the agent layer. This is entirely brought by the user. And here's our little debug window. You can see the green dot showing where the agent is clicking. A, B, C, D, E, F. Now, a few things to notice here. One is the speed. It's exceptionally slow. It takes far too long in order to operate this. Secondly, and we'll see if we come across these cases, but the models are pretty shit and you may notice it misclicks. So don't worry too much about that. Uh, we're just focusing on the fact that we're recording and replaying trajectories. Now, in the second case, we're running it within the engine. And the engine is able to determine that we have a cache miss. So it's running it in agent mode currently. Uh, you tell it's agent mode with the you know, pink text here. And our next run through, same task is going to be significantly faster because we'll have a cache hit. The engine is able to recognize we've seen this before, therefore just greedily run through the trajectory. And that's denoted with green here. Now, another thing we're going to do here is change the state. We just moved points B and E within the environment. Same engine, but the engine is able to detect that the points have moved, therefore the retrieved cache is no longer valid. So it's back in agent mode. Screenshot act clicking its way through to finish the trajectory. And along the way, it's logging this so that when we enter the task one final time, it's going to be fast again. It's going to be a cache hit. Here we go, cache hit case. Awesome. So this is the engine. It's actually it's surprisingly simple how it works. I was afraid we'd have to dig a lot and like actually be at the agent layer. Um, but ultimately what I realized was that when you're doing an action that imposes like some like writes into the environment, in this case, clicking is a, a write operation into the environment. All you really need to do is at the time that that action is invoked, you need to record features about the environment that allow you to then later detect whether or not it is safe to proceed. Uh, I'll call this cache validation. So when the agent is running through it's running the click function and what we're doing is we're capturing data from it we have a capture function here which in our case we're taking a little cropped image around where the click happened embedding that using the clip model um, and that's effectively our feature extraction users could extract any features they want from the environment and then we have a compare function here that we supply when we retrieve candidate trajectories the engine will pre-validate are these trajectories still valid by comparing the current state versus the retrieved candidate state. In this case, the state that we care about is the image embedding. This could be anything. Um, it could be time, if you want to like, do some time-based invalidation, things like that. But there's the storage function, invalidation function. You could do it as a pre-check before the action. You could also add a post-check after the action um, in order to ensure that it's safe to proceed. So this is the muscle memory system. All it is is th this check abstraction. Um, and user supplied functions here to pull out the data that they care about to run this without LLMs in the loop.